but I wanted to do an, uh, a new uh, section called Public Service Announcement. Uh, this is where I'm going to get on my soapbox, which I usually do anyway. Dispose and memory issues. You know I'm really big into this. You know, I write a lot about uh, eye disposable and memory issues in, in Microsoft.net. But this section isn't really for you developers. I want you to send this to all of your project managers and managers. They're the ones that need to listen to this part. Devs must ensure to not to write code that introduces memory issues. Okay, yeah, that's a, I would think that's a normal goal, right? But unfortunately, I don't see this. I'm not exaggerating. I rarely see this done correctly at all. But what happens is this will cause issues in the life of your project. I guarantee you this will cause issues. Every company that I end up working for, they have issues, and this is the issue. And it will be costly to fix, depending how long and how bad it is, of course. I've worked on projects six months and didn't even fix all of their dis memory issues. So this can be very, very costly uh, to your company managers and project managers, and you know uh, that's a big deal. It will cause delays in the project. I guarantee it. Every single project I'm on where this happens, it causes delays in the project. It will cause merge issues in source code repositories. And this is what I've been dealing with in the last couple of weeks is because these are usually over you know, we, we touch so much of the code and you have other developers working on the code and trying to merge that and then get it tested and everything is a freaking nightmare. And this is part of the, the thing that will cause delays in the project. And lastly, it will cause frustration with the team. My team is frustrated with this because they can't merge things. They can't get things up. They can't get things tested, you know, and so on and so on. So. Um, everybody's frustrated, but I am very frustrated about this. Please get your team to learn about how to prevent this in the first place. Very, very important. And the way to start, go to my website. I have many, many articles. Buy my books. Every single book I write, I talk about this. Okay. Your team needs to code this correctly in the first place, or you're going to run into all of those five things. Every single project I work on, this happens, okay?